All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Sally Face here on Bite Size Beefs. And we are still in Chapter 4, and I believe in the last episode we had found a couple teeth, and we started exploring the Addison Apartments. So here we go, David's Place, Room 302. Oh, is this the... Oh, hey, hey Sal, hey Larry, where's are you up to? Hey David, we're just checking it in with everyone. How are things going? Oh, it's awfully kind of you, but I'm afraid I can't talk much at the moment. Sarah is in feeling wall, you see, so I gotta take care of her. Oh, sorry to hear that. Hope she gets well soon. We'll be around if you need anything. Thanks, yours. Thanks, yours both. You know, he may be a little sick in the head, but he seems to be a nice dude. So no, no need to worry about him too much. Check the corners for teeth. <laughs> CJ's place. Is CJ that old minimalist guy, or is he one of the college students? No, he's a person in a wheelchair. Oh, we haven't met this character yet, so let's go ahead and check for teeth. No, I don't see any teeth. IGG? Hmm, maybe that was the college he went to? Let's talk to him. Let's talk to CJ. Yo, what up, guys? Yo. Hey, CJ, are you having a party tonight or something? Nah, no, but Z and Sierra are coming over later. Gonna be like old times. You two should stop by if you can. Sounds cool. We'll keep that in mind. Cool, cool. Any other dialogue? Take it easy, dudes. Nope. No other dialogue. I don't remember there being a college student in a wheelchair. Am I going crazy? And I hope something bad didn't happen to him, but... If he was originally one of the other college students, I mean, there's probably a lot of college students who come in and are here a lot of times. Let's go. Let's see Chug. Oh my God, Chug. Oh my God. Hey guys. Oh. Hi Sal. Uh. Hey Larry. Soda. Oh my God. It's just. Wait. Does Chug have a daughter named Soda? Chug Soda. <laughs> Chug Soda. <laughs> Why? Why? Why is Chug Soda? What? That better be his little sister or something. See, seriously. Chug Soda. Sally Face! I love Sally Face. Hello. Chug and Maple. Hey, guys. Yo. You two look like you're up to no good as usual. Glad to see some things stay the same. Ooh, are you guys working on another one of your secret cases? It wouldn't be a secret if we told you, now would it? I suppose not. How are you two? We are good, you know, ups and downs. Mostly good, though. That's nice. It's good to hear. Yeah, have you been... How have you been, Sal? Haven't seen you around in a little while. I've been okay, keeping busy with school and whatnot. So, Chug, I heard that your parents moved out? They left a few months ago. Too crowded in here with all of us. Plus, they wanted to give us privacy. It's, it's been nice. That was nice of them to give you guys the apartment. That reminds me, I'm supposed to go visit my parents tonight. Are you okay to watch Soda while I'm gone, babe? They did have a baby. Their baby's name is Soda. It's Chug Soda. <laughs> name of the episode. Uh, of course. I love my little baby Soda. Notice anything weird lately? Nope, it's been nice and ghost free. No spooky stuff for us. Let's hope it stays that way. See ya. Let's talk to Little Soda. Hello. What is that? Nopa Cola? Is that what it says in the top, right? Nopa Cola? <laughs> Nopa Cola. I wonder. Wait. Y'all see that next to that little toy chest? Y'all know who that is? Y'all see that little tiny stuffed monster? That's my pet monster, baby. That's one of the inspirations for beef. That's like my grandfather. <laughs> Punch. I better. I, I would have punched in on that, but punch in on it. Make sure it happened. Future me. And then there's a Furby also and a couple dolls. Uh, Jack in the Box coloring book. But that's, yeah, that's a My Pet Monster. That's one of the inspirations and uh, one of the pieces of design that I took for uh, the beef character for the channel. So there you go. What's up, Soda? Hey, yeah, Soda. How's my best baby doing? <laughs> Want to go for a ride on Uncle Sal's shoulders? Oh, Sal. She has a bit of a rash right now. You might not want to pick her up. Thanks for the heads up. Mommy? Yes, love? I want to ride on Uncle Sal's sodas. <laughs> Not today, Muffin, okay? Remember what I said this morning? Oh, okay. Oh, don't worry, little... Little so... Oh, little so, because soda, right? Yeah. 
Oh, don't worry, little Sue. If you take the medicine you got from the doctor this morning, we'll have you flying around in no time. Haha, <laughs> promise? I promise. You bet. <laughs> little kid voices are hard. All right, so nothing... I didn't see any teeth in between all the children. Plus, if there, there's teeth in here, they probably belong to Soda. So let's leave them there. That was cute. Oh, I liked it. Uh-oh. 304 is a jar. Uh-oh. What's wrong in 304? Oh, it's green. It's green. Is this from all the leakage from Todd's bedroom downstairs? The tooth will set you free. Dude, dude, no. <laughs> I mean, Larry, that was, a, that was a good one, man. Let's see what tooth we got here now. Tooth four of five. Huh, we got E, burnt, and S. It has an S carved into it. Hmm. An S. An S. Oh, pardon me. Had to clear the throat there for a second. It's very odd that these teeth have just somehow appeared. I mean, I guess people lose teeth, but the fact that they have inscriptions on them seems... Not right. It seems very... We should be on our guard. In case there's some bad juju witchcraft going on. Alright, 403. Still hasn't been repaired after all these years? Alright, well, let's see if there's anything... Uh... Hi? Oh, sorry. We didn't realize anyone was in here. Mr. Sanderson? Hi, Larry. I was just saying goodbye to Sandy. Saying goodbye? I'm leaving Knockville tonight. I just... I need to leave this place. It's understandable, man. You've been through a lot. Have you... This may sound a bit odd, but have either of you seen my wife around? I don't know if you believe in ghosts. I guess I was just hoping I could speak to her once more. <sighs> Here's the problem. Do we tell him the truth? Or do we tell him a lie just so he can move on? Oh, man, this is hard, because I want to tell him the truth, but then... Let's just say we haven't seen her, because I want this guy to move on. Right, well, perhaps she's in a better place now. I hope that she is. Sandy didn't deserve this. Oh, God. Would you boys do me a favor and just give me a moment alone here? Sure, Mr. Sanderson, that's no problem. Let us know if you need anything, all right? Thank you, Larry. That poor man... It's sad what happened, really. Ah, I see there's still no camera. But let's see what's in 404. Oh. There's the broken camera and another tape. There's a tape here, but it's broken. Can we maybe pocket knife it? <laughs> pocket knife! Oof! Shall we... Watch the tape labeled Bridge? Why? Why won't you answer me every passing moment, just silently staring down upon me with no remorse? They're gathering as we speak, and they mean to open a vortex, perhaps into this world, a bridge between us and them. Does this not arouse your attention in any way at all? Sometimes I wonder if you're even real. If there's anyone behind that lens, or just a corpse decaying at the helm, my pleas for help infinitely echoing into the vast emptiness of death. So there is a woman making these tapes to try and tell us something? But I mean, if all three of us are down, I'm down. I, I don't really care what people would say. What do you think? Uh, yeah, sure. Really? I wasn't sure if you'd be into the idea. We should probably revisit this conversation again later. My mind is a little fuzzy right now. You glitched out again while I was talking, didn't you? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay, dude. I know you can't control it. Did you get anything useful from it this time? I think so, but I'm still trying to piece it together. Huh. There's a lot of pieces to this puzzle. Can, I don't think we can maybe... Yeah. Can't use the pocket knife on that really broken surveillance camera. So let's move on to rooms 401. Or 402 and 401, yeah. Dad and Lisa. Dad and Lisa? Dad and Lisa. Dad's office. Let's check it out. Let's check for teeth. Give me them teeth. Hey, Dad. Yo, Dad, you got any teeth? <laughs> Dad and Lisa's room. Alrighty, then. Let's. They gotta have teeth in here. You know where I like to keep my teeth? In my bedroom. 
underneath my pillow so that Tooth Fairy can come in and give me that sweet, sweet silver coinage. Or bronze coinage. Oh my god, it's my dad and Lisa. Mm, hi, Lisa. Why not? We'll talk. Hey, Dad. Hey, Lisa. Hey, guys. Hi, fellas. Yo. Hey, when's the last time we had the entire family together like this? Um, like a couple weeks ago? <laughs> Sal. We should all have dinner together tonight. Come on, what do you say, boys? Lisa is going to show me the secret to making her lasagna. Mmm, your lasagna is the best, Lisa. Man, she, she makes good food? Dad, you did well. You did well. Aw, oh, thank you, sweetie. I'm not gonna say no to free dinner. Actually, I have plans tonight, but if I'm done early, I'll come over. Okay, we'll have Larry instant message you, or whatever you kids do once dinner is ready. It's called texting, Dad. <laughs> right, right, that one. Sounds good, dude. Nice. Nice. Might get to see Ash and also some free lasagna. Oh my god, free lasagna. I want some lasagna. Question of the day. Do you like lasagna? And if you do, like, is it, do you, you know, if you're a vegetarian or, you know, vegan or whatnot, throw it down below. Let me know if, what, what kind of lasagna you enjoy most. But I'm a big fan of lasagna. Lasagna's great. It's noodles and sauce and meat and, like, spinaches and cheeses if you want to throw in spinach. It's just amazing. It's so delish. It's wonderful. This is the uh, minimalist guy, right? The evil bread. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. He's got all these wicked posters. Robert. That's right. You still just living here? <laughs> I forget the voice I gave him, but... Hey, hey, there's my ghost nabbers. Hey, dude. Or hey, dude. Hey, Rob. How goes the hunting? That's top secret. It's dead around here. None of the ghosts have been showing up for a little while now. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We aren't sure yet, but we're looking into it. I see. Have you noticed anything strange lately, Robert? Anything at all? Well, I got this weird lump on my left butt cheek, if you guys could take a look. Whoa, I don't know if we're really qualified for that one, Rob. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. My bottom is as smooth as butter. Heh, <laughs> butter. <laughs> Hi, Larry, you fucking goofball. Catching up? Oh, nice. We got an achievement. Catching up. Probably means we've talked to all the residents in the area. Keep me posted, fellas. Will do, Robert. Oh, and he's got a Ghost Nabbers. He's got a Ghost Nabbers poster. Check it. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. He calls us the Ghost Nabbers because I guess this is that's the Ghostbusters of their world, of their universe. And so we're we're rocking that Ghost Nabber life, son. Oh, this floor is still currently being renovated, huh? Well, let's just check out the hallway first, see if we can't find any creepy, spooky eyeballs in the walls. I doubt we would, but you never know what tapping A will do if you tap it on a few weird things. Ooh, that wall's oozing green, but let's go into 501 first since we're on this side. Holy shit, Pickle! You've made a mistake! What the hell, man? The end will be us all! What does that even mean? You can't be staying in here, dude. <laughs> the darkness binds! <laughs> dude scared the shit out of me. I've caught that bum sleeping up here before, too. I wonder what he meant. It just, or it just sounded like crazy gibberish to me, man. There's gotta be a tooth. Bums always have teeth. Where's your teeth? Where's your secret tooth stash? There's the tooth right there, baby. You want the tooth? You can't handle the tooth. Larry, you're incorrigible. And somehow, I have a feeling you don't even know the meaning of the word. Two, three, four, and five. With a W on it. So we've got E, S, and W. Does the last one have an N on it for north, south, east, and west? But then what does the burnt tooth mean? For a second, I thought we were about to spell a word. Maybe we still are. We could still spell a word. Huh. What? Looks like there's a hidden panel on the bottom of the birdcage. I've never noticed it before. That's weird, dude. 
there's a loose screw on it. Almost like someone had tried to open it. Okay. Hmm, I'll need a screwdriver or something to open this. Haha, <laughs> you mean like a pocket knife? <laughs> Alright, let's check it out. Well, would you look at that? North, south, east, west, and the burnt tooth in the middle. So we're coming back when we got them sweet, pearly whites. I mean, except for that black one. Also, you may be able to hear a lovely little puppy in the background barking their absolute head off. Well, probably not barking their absolute head off, but making some noise. As they do. Uh, there's a dollar or something in that wall? Oh, it was a tape! Oh! But yes, that was the lovely puppies. Say hello to the puppies down in the comments below. Everybody loves the puppies. Hunger. Well, we're gonna have to take a turn from the beautiful, wonderful little loving puppies and go into hunger. Oh my god, your face! Hunger has been tearing at my stomach, and yet I don't die. How long has it been? It's impossible to tell in this endless night. How long must I rot in this fucking prison? No food, no light, no sleep, no contact, nothing. Nothing. Just glimpses of life beyond my reach. I wish they would open that goddamn vortex already. I wish they would tear this world apart. I wish this would all end. I need this to end. Is she... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Is she a human catalyst? Because I know for some spells and witchcraft and occultery businesses, you need to have... What does Larry have to say? My dad used to stay in this room before him and my mom got together. Really? That was before it all got flooded up here or whatever happened. <laughs> it's been so long I don't even remember. But uh, I know sometimes they need like a human conduit. Kind of like a, a body. Just to act as a channel for magical energy. Megan? Hello? Are you with us? Nothing on the super gear boy, dude. Hey, where did her necklace go? Huh, I didn't notice it was gone before. That's weird. Maybe that's why she's not coming out. What about the rest of them? I don't know. Huh. Yeah, because that was her spiritual focus. Is that another tooth? Oh, no, that's just the cap to the bottle. That's very odd. Very, very odd. Because Megan used to come out a lot when Sal was around, because she liked Sal. And then when we gave her her necklace back, uh, that was like her spiritual focus. Did you remove these? Or, that was, <laughs> sorry, did you remove these? Yeah, I did that this morning when I was looking around. Okay, let's double check in here. Yeah, man, you could have missed a tooth. Stacy, are you there? Nothing on the gear boy, dude. Stacy was always difficult to summon, so I'm not surprised she's not showing up now. True. I hope she's at least with Megan. Me too. After all, it must be scary for Megan, and then we can go into the hole. Maybe? Right, and this usually led to a weird... Like, weird world before, didn't it? But maybe... Oh no, this just led to the noose. So much death and destruction under one roof. Yeah, I feel bad for the Holmes family. They didn't deserve what happened to them. And as much as I want to hate Luke for what he did, I can't help but feel sorry for the dude. He brought it on himself by helping the council summon the demon. It just sucks that he had to get Stacy and Megan caught up in it. Do you think it's a really dead? The red-eyed demon? Yeah, I know Todd's blaster supposedly destroyed it, but it seemed a little too easy, didn't it? I know what you mean. I've thought the same thing before, but we haven't seen any sign of it for years now. What if, like, we only wounded it and it's just waiting in the dark somewhere until it gets better? Then we blast it back to hell again when it shows up. <laughs> hey man, if that's all you can do, if you know you wounded something before, and you got the power, crank it up to 11 and juice it again, you might kill it. And if not, it'll take longer to recover. That's usually how these spiritual energy things work. If you can wound something and it has to rest for however many years, a lot of times if you can uh, amplify what you did... You can usually de uh, kill it, or at least banish it from whatever plane of existence you're going through. So we haven't gone to the basement. It's the only place we haven't been, and it's the only place that could have a tooth. And as soon as we find that tooth in the laundry basket, 
Nope. <laughs> but as soon as we find that tooth in the lost and found, nope. We're going to go back up and check that bird cage. Let's check the bathroom. Toilet tooth? Nope. Sink tooth, bathtub tooth? Not at all. But I want to I want to find the secret to whatever was happening with these teeth. And it just seems weird that we didn't find them until now. Especially when we did investigate the bird cage before. We never knew it, noticed it had a false bottom. There's the tooth, baby. What? No stupid pun this time? I couldn't really think of any to tell you the tooth. God damn it, Larry. You, just, you made us... You made us walk right into it. Also, this has absolutely nothing to do with being an ad, but I believe Sally Face does have official merch. So you can go ahead and look that up, because I believe the shirt that Larry's wearing right now, the SF, is actually a part of the merch. And it's a pretty good shirt. I like that shirt. I like the SF. It's a plain shirt. People might think it's a band shirt. So you can wear it pretty much anywhere. And only people who are in the know will know what it means. And it's a great way to support the uh, creators of the game as well. Because they certainly deserve it. This game is fantastic. And once again, we're going all the way back up to floor 5 to go check out what that birdcage has in store. What was it, in 501? No, 501 was Crazy Man. So it must have been in 502. Ah, sorry, I was taking a sip. And today's beverage is brought to you by cream soda. Whatever your favorite brand of cream soda may be. Go ahead, drink it. It's delicious. So, north, south, east, and west. And then the burnt tooth as the catalyst in the middle. What? No? No. Yeah, because never eat shredded wheat, right? Right? Uh. Oh, you know what it is? Check out the blood. There's blood on the cross, on the compass. So this is north. This is east. This is south. Wait. Yes. There we go. I hadn't even noticed that blood before. I'm glad I spotted it. Whoa, dude. I think I found that key you lost. I didn't lose it. It just... Wait, where the hell did it even come from? I didn't put it in there. Someone wanted us to find this. They couldn't have just, like, slipped it under my door, put it in my mailbox or something. Reality is a tangled web, Larry. Uh, what? Never mind. We got the key now. Let's go check out that temple. Wait. Temple? I think we just sequence broke something. I think we were supposed to go to the basement first and check out Larry's stuff, and then he would tell us about the temple. Or was that something from Chapter 3? Because we have to go down into the basement of the temple. But let's check out the... Everything down here. Let's check out Larry's apartment. See how he's doing. It's weird to be leaving after living here for so long. I felt that way when we left New Jersey. But it was a change I didn't know I needed at the time. So I'm glad it worked out the way it did. <laughs> yeah, it'll be awesome to room with you and Todd. I can't wait for that, honestly. Still. Er, still. And I know I'm not going far. But it's still a little sad for some reason. It's a big change, Larry. It's okay to feel emotional about it. Tooth pun. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm cool. Let's just keep looking around. So I don't have to stand here grinding my teeth. <laughs> Tooth pun. Well, he kept his bathroom relatively clean. That's a good sign. Garbage pail's already packed up. Good stuff. Good stuff. Got his paintings down, his pictures. Larry's room. Oh, he's got all his art down. Oh man. What about music? Do you remember the first time I saw you without your mask? How could I forget? You were headbanging so hard it flew right off and whacked me in the face. Ah. You were so worried about my bloody nose that you didn't even notice at first. I felt bad. Yeah, but then once I told you I was fine, why did you cry? Because you didn't look away. 
Oh, oh, we went out in the backyard. But you know what? That's fine. Gotta go into the backyard. Gotta check out the, uh... Wait, was that a face in the grass? Kind of looked like a face in the grass a little bit. <laughs> looked like it was a face with a beard or something. But I think that's just the repeating pattern in the grass. Let's go check out that treehouse. We're way too old for it now, but... You never know what we might find. After all, it is a point-and-click adventure. And we should point and we should click on the adventure. I mean, I, could you call it a point-and-click? It's more of like... Because you don't really point and click anymore. But I'm going to call it that. I still can't believe my dad abandoned us. It doesn't feel like him. It doesn't feel real. I, uh... I don't... I know there's something you've been keeping from me, Sal. Something about my dad. You're horrible at keeping secrets. It's okay, man. I haven't mentioned it before because I trust you. If you're keeping something from me, it's because you have ri or it's because you have to, right? Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't want to lie. I want to tell the truth. I want, mm, child. Look, it's been hard to keep this from you, but I couldn't be sure what was real and what wasn't. I didn't want to upset you, but I think your dad has been contacting me somehow. What? I'm not sure if it's really him or not. That's why I haven't brought it up. Plus, he told me to keep you safe and not tell you about him. He says that if you knew the truth, it would put you in danger. If it is your father, then I... Well, I don't think that he's 100% human. But the important thing is, is that he didn't abandon you. He sacrificed himself to try and stop the cult, to protect you and Lisa. He loved you both more than anything. What do you mean he's not human? It's kind of hard to explain, but... I think your dad was an alien or something. He crash-landed here after losing his home planet to a plague of shadows. He was with his sister, Evelyn, but she died in the crash or got lost or something. He wasn't really clear about what happened. Was that Mrs. Rosenberg? Is that why she was so old? Damn it, you guys. We could have picked alien. Damn it. <laughs> we said which. It was alien. Aren't you going to say anything about all this? You know, you don't have to make up some crazy story to make my dad into a hero. And aliens? Really? Dude, that didn't help your story at all. I'm telling you the truth, Larry. I swear. Alright, dude. It's fine. Can we just drop this for now, please? Okay, but we're going to talk about this more later. I'm not making this up. Yeah, because there's pictures of his dad and... Throwing up the, the rocker horns. On the drawing he's got. Could be a picture. Ooh, but that was a nice little thing. I mean, I guess we could have told him the lie, but... You know. I want to be that truth-telling boys. Got to be those truth-telling boys. We'll finish up checking out Larry's apartment here. Did you ever tape that new Sanity's Fall song? Yeah, man. You want to hear it? Let's do it. Can we headbang? Headbang? Are we going to do it? Nice. Can't headbang, but we can do a little dance. Well, no headbanging. I was really hoping for some return to form. But I like how we can sort of hear it throughout the next rooms. Oh, Lisa's old room. That must be... Oh, that must be Larry's bed. Or no, because Larry has his room. I guess he just left the bed there because... I guess Lisa didn't need it because she moved in with our dad! <laughs> Alright, so we've done a lot this episode. We have literally uncovered a crap ton of things. We found all the teeth. We found the secret of the cult. We found the key. We found out that, you know, we told Larry's, uh, Larry the truth about his dad. He didn't want to believe us. And we found out a little bit more about Mrs. Rosenberg, possibly. And a little bit more about Larry's dad. And it's all quite sad, really. We also talked to everybody. We learned that Chug has a daughter named Soda. Chug Soda. It's great. I love it. But thank you. All. We're going to have to check out what this key does, which I think is the key to the temple, which is down here in one of these rooms. Where is it? Because I want to leave off on that screen. It's a good screen to leave off on right here. So the hatch door. So we're going to explore the temple again. Uh, yeah, for the second time. Because we went there in the chapter 3. So we're going to explore the temple again next time on Sally Face. Here on Bite Size Beefs. And until then, take care everybody. And don't be afraid of no ghosts.